face. Sir! You got a war face? Ah! That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! <laughs> Good evening, lads and nasties. Irish Demon here, back with another video. What a day, what a couple of days, man. It was crazy. I don't want to get too much into it right now until we have more details about everything. It was fucking outrageous. It was outrageous. Um, Honestly, man, I, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, I, I really genuinely am concerned about what he might... I mean, look, again, we don't live in a movie. So, like, it's probably just going to be he's going to sulk in a corner somewhere and, uh, and just see out the rest of his time. But who knows? Um, anyway, that's besides the point. We'll talk about that maybe tomorrow. We'll catch up with some friends and see what's happening. Um, in other news, this video that I've got coming up right now... Oh, shit. There's a lot of cringe. A lot of cringe. Daniel Pratt being overly dramatic, as usual. And, uh, I don't know. His video seemed a little bit, like, dangerous, almost. If he had a bigger follower, uh, follower base, I'd be worried. But he doesn't, so I'm not worried. Uh, and then some incredible cringe from Nathan Thompson, like... High-level cringe, unsurprisingly. Spy glasses again and all that kind of shit. Anyway, lads and nasties, let's get into it. Uh, before we get into this video, really quickly though, I am 50 subscribers away from 3,000 subscribers. So if we hit that 50 mark tonight, my time, we'll have a 3,000 subscriber party tomorrow, which will be tonight, your time? I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Globe, you, you guys know how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's try to get us to the... 3,000 mark uh, over the next few hours. I'm sure we can do it. Smash those like buttons. That will help the algorithm push it out to more people. If you're watching this right now and you're not a subscriber yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I won't let you down. Anyway, lads and lassies, let's get straight into it. No, many others won't come out and say it straight ahead, so I will. Isn't it hilarious how the right preaches your Second Amendment to you incessantly, patriots? But when it comes clear, crystal clear time to use it, there's never been more, a more clear time to exercise your Second Amendment for what it was intended. Then suddenly you're a radical, violent, criminal terrorist. They'll preach it to you incessantly to repeatedly, infinitely collect campaign funding and more and more of your money right up until it comes time to use it because they failed you repeatedly. Then all of a sudden, oh, we can't have violence. How don't you dare preach violence while the Secret Service shoots a fucking lady dead for demanding their government Represent them. It's a joke. joke. Alright, so when you watch this overdramatic dribble, you might think to yourself, ah, it doesn't matter. Just some guy in his, as we've recently found out, garage, um, talking shit into a camera. He's only got like 300 subscribers at the moment, but there are 300 very active subscribers. Like, he's got a lot of viewership on those videos. You gotta, you know, give him credit where it's due. Now, here's the thing. To you and I, we look at him and go, ah, oh, he's just some nobody crazy that's spewing nonsense out on the internet. And we kind of think nothing of it. We laugh at it. We kind of make fun of it. Whatever. But the reality is, all it takes is one crazy. Just one guy that sees his videos, thinks that he's some kind of, like, messiah and all-knowing person, and then goes out and harms somebody. That's the reality of it. Now, I saw a lot of the videos from the Capitol today. I mean, a lot of them. I spent the whole day in... Gr I'm exhausted from it, in fact, from sitting there watching all of this footage that came out. And there were a lot of people there who had firearms, despite um, the local government, the police, uh, stopping all firearms in the protest area. But it didn't stop people walking in there with long rifles. So that's not true. There was a lot of people in there that had firearms. I'm sure there's a lot of people who had conce concealed weapons. They found pipe bombs in there. Now, I've heard people say, oh, Antifa infiltrated and put pipe bombs in there to make it look like the, the Proud Boys were the guys who caused all the trouble. I will say this. I didn't notice. Um, sorry, I've got like a big humdinker spot here. Uh, I didn't notice any Proud Boys in the, the crowds that I saw. That could be by design, though, because a lot of the Proud Boys uh, did say that they were going to be going incognito um, this time around so as not to be immediately picked out of the crowd by police and to draw attention and cause issues. So who knows? As for the pipe bombs, we'll never know. I'm sure if they do some testing on it, 
we'll find out who it is. Um, we'll wait. But I think it might be a little bit far-fetched to, to suggest that there's some kind of agent provocateurs in there causing all this trouble. It could be. Who knows? We'll wait and see. But... The reality of it is, we all know who stormed the building. There was a lot of misinformation about um, this Viking guy, uh, because apparently there's a picture of him on one of Antifa's websites, and it says, whatever, Portland Antifa, I think, on the, the thing. They're like, oh my god, he's he's from Antifa, and he's a, he's a, he's an agent provocateur, and he's there to... Dude, I looked into the guy. It took 10 minutes to find out everything about this guy. The guy is a serious Trump supporter. There's pictures of him with loads of the Trump team. Uh, and he's very well known in the right-wing activist circles. So it's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. The guy standing next to him doing um, the white power symbol. He's got white power tattoos. Dude, the guy's a piece of shit. He's not Antifa. Anyway, that's beside. Let's let's leave this shit here. My day is nearly over. Let's leave it here. We'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll get some people on to have a chat maybe and see how it goes. But I will just leave it with this. Sadly, four people lost their lives today. Now, I believe all four of them were Trump supporters, so you might, some of you might clap for that. Uh, I think, personally, I think that's abhorrent. I, I, I just, I hate the idea of anybody being killed over political stuff. It's, it's horrifying. Um, the, the young lady that was shot, she was a veteran. She was shot through the neck and died. I watched the video from multiple angles. She climbed through a window where there was armed police protecting members of the Senate behind the door. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? I'm sorry that somebody lost their lives. But seriously, what did you think was going to happen? It's sad. It's horrifying. But it's reality. Anyway, this is the kind of person, Daniel Pratt, who spreads this kind of shit. And it leads to people dying. It's, it's horrifying. Anyway, let's move on to something a bit more lighthearted. Here is some tortoises getting it on. Toitus coitus, if you will. No, not that bad. And I'm getting some different flavors, like I haven't had them all, so. Right, okay. I'm just vegan and like. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Me too. No way. If you walk into a crowd of people, how do you know which one's the vegan? They will tell you. I am. You're kidding. Three years. How long? Five years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I haven't yeah. been to the gym in five or ten years. Check this out, I'm not trying to brag. No, it's okay. Yep, that's. Is he about to show her his little. I don't do sit-ups, I don't do pull-ups, and I think, I just want you to know, I think the price is off on those levels. Yeah, uh, if it is... It uh, says it should be more, and I just want to be honest with you, because you've been so cool, and you... Oh, yeah, I mean... If you want us to... No, uh, I just no, want you to know for next time, okay? That might be because they're on sale. Oh, okay, but, but if it's not on sale, then um, maybe you could fix it after I pay. Yeah, do you want me to go ask for the price now? <laughs> It's only a dollar difference. I don't mind, but I don't want you guys to be losing money, you know, because oh, I know t I know times are tough right now. Is well, this that's really kind of you? I can. Oh, actually, this is she's the boss lady. Yes, this is These the are listed lady. as five <laughs> something, and they're ringing up as four, and I don't want you guys losing sale. money. They're on sale. Yes. I, that's what I, I just thought. don't. I'll take it. Out right now, so yeah, they're they're on sale. On I love sale. you. Thank you so much. Appreciated that. He wanted us to charge him more money. <laughs> well, he really wanted to. He said, "Oh, I think these are ringing up as less." I am so honest. I go around. I've been testing Earth for five years, and I tell people what I find out, and it's not a ball in space spinning around the sun. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what's referred to as the soft sell. You do the whole, like, hi there, nice to meet you. You know those dickheads in the shopping mall? When you're trying to do something, they come at you with a clipboard. They're like, hi there. Do you have a minute to that? Oh, sorry, man, I'm on the phone. Gotta go. Sorry, bro. It's just like that. That's the kind of griftery shit. It's like, I am so honest. I'm just... So honest, honestly. By the way, the earth is flat. What? No, what? How, how did that come? I, you're trying to buy your vegan food, and then you're like, by the way, the earth is flat. You want salt and pepper with that? Yes, please. And some flat earth. Come on, dude. Yeah. You know that? No way. I used to run the largest flat earth group in the world, and it got shut down. I had 140,000 members. I was the founder. So I've been on MSN, Google News, Daily Mail. I'm like one of the most popular flat earthers in the world. Oh, so can you imagine actually talking to somebody like that? I've actually been I'm kind of a big deal. Talking about being the most popular flat earther in the whole world. That's the cringiest shit I've ever heard. That's like saying, hey there, nice to meet you. Did you know I'm the uh, I'm the biggest idiot in the whole universe? Y'all are flat earthers. No yeah. way. Could yeah, I please? Yeah, he's vegan. Yeah, yeah, he's vegan. My husband, like, <laughs> he started out doing that. Uh, I was 27. 
Okay. You see what he basically got on there? Okay, let me break down this conversation for you in very simple terms. It just basically went like, Hey there, I'm an idiot. Hey there, I'm also an idiot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, me too. He found out, like, uh, no, there's something more to this. I have to get a pic with you because I take a picture with everyone, so. On three, one, two. I have a, 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 an album on Facebook called Flat Earthers I've Met, and there's 900 photos in there, and most of them are like 100 people deep. So, yeah, that's what I do. I'm recording right now. Most people don't know. I got spy glasses on. Oh, ha! Wow, that's like... Yeah, so he's... Uh, that little dot right there? Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Because, you know, p people are weird. You know, I do it for my protection. But also, I like getting the truth out. And people don't realize how easy it is. But also, how many of us are out there yeah. that know what's up. Well, and then the thing is, though, like, if it has to go back onto, like, the government and... Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes, the notorious they. If they are lying about this, what else are they lying about? It's always the same shit with these people. Like, dude, spy glasses. I mean, okay, call me old-fashioned, but going into a shop and filming two young ladies without their knowledge, it's a bit creepy. Now, I'm not saying that you're going home and, you know, doing the whole... <laughs> to it, but... Dude, it's, it's freaky, man. Like, it really is. I, I just... Does anybody... Can anybody in the comments... right? Leave a comment down below. Yes or no. Say yes, creepy, or no, creepy. Have a vote. I'll talk them all up, and I'm gonna guess it's probably yes, creepy, for the most part. Let me know down below. Is that... Can I ask why you're not wearing a diaper on your face? Because the government lies about... I've been in the news, so I'm not gonna assume they're telling us the truth about this. And it was supposed to be two weeks, flatten the curve... All the five states that mandated a mask have the highest rates of the alleged virus. Like, I'm not buying any of it. Did, I, did it go? Go through? Yeah, I think so. I um, think it, it says processing. Ran it as credit. So, yeah, it's just processing. there's so many other reasons. I know people who've been kidnapped, and so to put anything on their face gives them, like, immense trauma. Mm -hmm. And so, and then also there's people with asthma. One in six people have asthma. Have All right, I'm not going to sit here and listen to this bullshit, right? Um, I know a lot of you folks out there have family and friends that have passed away or become very, very ill with um, the current pandemic. My auntie, sadly, is in hospital right now. Um, she's doing much, much better, but she's in a very dangerous age bracket. So, you know, we're all extremely worried about her. There are countless people around the world now who have passed away from this and are currently suffering with it. Thousands, tens of thousands of new cases every single day. Uh, it's no joke. It's no laughing matter. Um, so, yeah, this is absolute bullshit. I'm sick of hearing this crap. Um, and, and it's morons like this that cause the spread. That's just the way it is. You're awesome. Oh. Keep it vegan, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going back. Me neither. Yeah, it's it's the, such a healthy change for me. The longer I go, the more I won't go back. Right. You exactly. know? Five years. And it's so funny when people like try and convince me. I'm like, I ate meat for 30 years. You know what I mean? It's like trying to convince me. Oh no, jail's good. You should go there. Yeah. No, I've been there overnight. It's not that fun. Yeah. Been so. Um, if you wanted to put your product on the glass, like picture here, you guys wanted to talk. We're good. I got. I don't have. My civil rights religion exemption that I got. There's a lady named Peggy Hall. She's a YouTuber, her pastor, her husband is a pastor in California, and they both are... I've heard of Peggy Hall. Like, well, and all that stuff, so right, so they... Wow. Um, okay, i got to be honest with you guys. I haven't actually watched the video up to this part. It's the first I'm seeing of this. This Peggy Hall motherfucker is causing so many deaths. That's just the way it is. I mean, this is my civil rights and legal religious exemption. Oh my God, get over yourself. How hard is it to wear a mask for like 10 minutes while you shop? My sister-in-law is a surgeon. She wears a mask all day, every single day, and she's one of the smartest people that I know. Now, I know you people have got very limited resources in terms of your brains, and you're afraid about losing brain cells because you don't got much to work with, but it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill your goddamn small amount of remaining brain cells. See that mask up there? Well, I can't point. It's in reverse. This one that was sent to me by Commander Darklight, one of the most awesome people in the world. That thing right there 
you can really feel it when you wear that. It's hard to breathe in at times. I watched the whole of the first movie of Star Wars wearing that last week. I just got an ocean. I was sitting there wearing that in my jocks, trying to put a straw up through there to drink water. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, pretty high. And I uh, thought it'd be a great idea. It was. And guess what? I didn't get sick. I didn't get stupider um, than I already am. And um, yeah, it's it's just, it's more nonsense. That's, that's my religious assumption. All right, Karen. Cool story, bro. It really is heartbreaking to see so much stupidity in our world right now. People like this who just... It, it's just selfishness there's no, it's nothing else it's like i don't have to do what everybody else does yeah okay i've said it if i've said it once i've said it a million times i hate being told what to do but just put on a damn mask it's not that hard you're in there for 10 minutes you're in there trying to like mac on that young girl you're just a creep dude you're just a creepy weirdo with spy glasses i mean why is it so hard to just be somewhat normal i'm not talking about being a conformist i'm certainly not a conformist but dude, seriously, get a grip on yourself, man. These these people, you're, you're just team killers at this point. It's really, it's just gotten out of control. Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much. I cannot put up with any more of his video. Um, thank you so much for staying and joining me and watching this. Just to let you know, because I mentioned um, the Commander-in-Chief of the United States until maybe tomorrow, who knows? Um, I know, uh, Ilan, is it Ilian Omar? Uh, she started... Um, a second impeachment process. You might think, what's the point if he's only got two weeks left? If uh, if Donald Trump is impeached for a second time and it does go through, uh, obviously he'll be removed from office. But being impeached also means that you can no longer run for public office. So he won't be able to come back in 2024. Uh, a lot of the MAGA people are saying that it's because... Uh, the um, the Democrats don't want him to run again in 2024 because they're afraid he'll get in. Dude, I don't even care anymore, man. Like, I'm really... I'm so over it. I'm so glad that this cycle is over and we're just going to have some normalcy uh, with Joe Biden over the next couple of years anyway. Um, but anyway, lads and lassies, because I mentioned uh, Donald Trump and MAGA and COVID-19 and all those things, masks, any of these keywords, there's a good chance that I've been demonetized. So if you want to help the channel, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I try to put out a video or a live stream every single day. Um, and, you know, I'm putting a ton of work into my channel right now because I really want to make something of it because I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it. So if you want to help me out financially, you could become a, a channel member or if I'm live or whatever, you know, Super Chat. Uh, I've got a PayPal link down below, Discord, and I'm also selling Irish Demon t-shirts. Um, sold a few of those already, so that's really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing people's selfies with the Irish Demon t-shirts on. I don't think they're that expensive either, so I'll leave a link pinned in the chat and I'll leave a link down below as well that you can check that out. Lads and lassies, thank you so much and sláinte.